This game contains nice. NSFW content such as nudity, sex, and mentions of alcohol use. Are you legal age in your country to access this type of content? Yeah. Safe for work mode when stream remote. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting an SFW <laughs> mode immediately after that. Yeah, it asks us if we're if we're ready to see a wiener and then is like, do you want to see them though? Are you sure? <clears throat> Safe work mode while stream remote is active, <laughs> the character sprites will remain in underwear and not fully nude. Sex CGs will be able to turn off. I don't know. Do you wanna do you want to? I I feel like we should leave. Not I should we? I think we should do NSFW mode. We're not streaming. Yeah, that logic checks out definitely. Well, I mean, we it's should. Work, it's editing work for me. But do you really want to skip the CGs? <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Uh, <laughs> sure, we can leave it off uh we can leave it off and then you can edit it for it youtube becomes my problem anyway anyway obviously you're gonna, this is you're like click, this is a video for adults everybody go away yeah you're gonna click start right here and the first thing we're gonna see is a dick i guarantee it maybe it's in, it actually an interesting deconstruction of the dialectics of <laughs> chapter one yeah it's 3 p.m my friday classes are over I glance back at King's message on my phone. News binding... News binding club meeting at 3.15pm in the Willow Room. I don't know what that's supposed to imply. News Is news binding, binding like like collecting a newspaper to like literally like book binding yeah do they just bind the newspapers into stacks to then distribute or is, yeah, the, is or, it news that there's a binding club meeting <laughs> which sounds very or, different <laughs> there are a bunch of newsboys that practice shibari as a club exactly that's the binding club mm -hmm. that's exactly what i was thinking about uh Wow, the weird the vi the visual filter gives like the 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 chalkboards like this like starry night aspect. That's a trip. Also, we're here at toaster. Bye. Hi. Hi. Link in the description. Hi. All that. I'm me toaster. toaster Hello. Uh, small this raccoon. The, this he's small in real life. This is my first week and of Kill on You, and this is my first ever club meeting. I wonder how things will go. I hope everyone will be nice. His I, I, record scratches, and he's like, "You might be wondering how I got into this situation." And he's like, "Dangle." He's like completely tied up and shabbated to the point where he can't move. <laughs> it turns out they were nice. Uh, I enter the em I enter the empty classroom and take a seat up front. Before I know it, the doorway is filled with the familiar face of the seemingly chubby alpaca, the one who invited me to this club to begin with. His eyes sparkle at the sight of me. Wait. Wasn't the sparkly the alpaca in... In... Where the demon lurks named King? Is it the same character? I have no idea. I've never that, played that game. Yeah, but a, a question for the audience. Do you remember King the alpaca? Wasn't that... I think I remember that. He didn't look like this. <laughs> I like his design. I, think, I, think I like his weird face different. tats. Yeah. Is this Barra King? Uh, that's, it looks uh, like he has right, is, crumbs that is, in that his... Is the background. This is from the same writer as uh, Where the Demon Lurks. His eyes sparkle huh. at the side of me. So it's the same universe, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I, I do so much research. <laughs> here, you can be King. You're here. I'm so excited you came. I'm excited I came too. Uh, <laughs> King... I'm about to... King, please move. You're blocking the door. Oh, sorry, Professor oh, Knox Mayor. Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> the alpaca enters, Is he forcing a whip? his. Yes. <laughs> he <Okay>. is. <laughs> not that, not what I was expecting, but all right. <laughs> it's this kind of university. I don't know what that sentence means. The alpaca enters, forcing his abundant fleece to squeeze through the door frame. Goodness, King, you've doubled in size since the last semester break. It's just my winter fleece, Prof. I haven't had the time to shave it all off. Professor enters next. The lynx is fit. Perhaps too fit. The Todd, <laughs> the Todd buttons on his shirt, struggling to hold itself together. 
It is impressive when your chest gets big <laughs> enough that your suspenders don't touch the rest of your body. They just, they're just suspended, ironically. Uh, wafting in behind him is a citrus scent that reminds of oranges, like citrus do. One Next. of the things I want to say about this, this is something that just that constantly kind of sticks out to me in furry visual novels, but like all of the, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say most gay people don't wear cologne or, or perfume. I have a lot of gay friends and no, I have never met a man who's like cologne. I could actively smell when they walk into like a setting, <laughs> like a school or a gym. Like this is not normal. I don't know why, but like every single furry game, it feels like it was built for the Huff Aromas tie-in product. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's what you're going you know, with. Like, they just they just have to they have to capitalize. So every single furry character has an iconic scent, and that's all. It's just something that happens for everyone. I find it so it's, funny. It's, yeah, it's your preemptive branding. You're ready for your Daki Makura or Dai Daimi. Mm. Is that even? Never mind. And Daki then, Makura. Uh, yeah, that's that did it. Thing. I, 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 I would always rush read it mentally, so for the longest time it was like the Damikura, and I never questioned that for a long time. <laughs> the Damikura? That, <laughs> that sounds like a like a MacGuffin in a like, <laughs> uh, in like an old like fantasy, like FromSoft game. You need to get the Damikura in order to teleport to yeah. the Lord Vessel. We got we got our we got our duo here. The there 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 are two wolves inside of you, a marketable plush and a huff aromas. That's left that's left and right <laughs> characters. <laughs> I real I really like the artist that they that they've been using for these games. This is this these are this is these are nice sprites. The, the, There's the, something the about the eyes that fun. looks it looks so familiar, but I don't know who did this. Hey, this has flipped sprites too. Just oh, like it? arches. Yeah, because the, the eye tattoo, it stays on the correct side when he switches sides. It does. That's extra work. Good for them. That's a whole setup. Points. But the shirt, yeah, the shirt also rotates, right? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Back on task. <laughs> uh, a bit, perhaps too fit. The top buttons on the shirt struggling to hold itself together. Wafting in behind him, they have the citrus scent. Next, a pair of black leather gloves he wears instantly draw my eyes to his hips. For some odd Those reason, black. he's also carrying a whip. Listen, black is a bad color his, when you draw. <laughs> his sure, but his whip is black and his gloves are brown or like Fair, maroon. Yeah, no, it is not They're the same, the same color, same color as, his as, his as his hair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Noxmare. Hello, new one. The professor closes in on me. My eyes shift from his hips to his prominent bulge protruding through his pants. <laughs> Just it's getting started time. early. Yeah, no, it's, it's, there is no pretext this time. Uh, my eyes are up here, little one. Oops, I fell and dressed like this on accident. <laughs> uh, his sultry voice is like a siren's call to my, my ears. I look up. His pecs are in the way. So I... <laughs> 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 I don't know why that's the funniest description possible. <laughs> so I lean back to meet the professor's face. He has to lean back to see who has the chat. It's Comical. like it's like the 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 photo teta meme. <laughs> it's like oh the little God. the little man looking up in the shadow of the titties. <laughs> Welcome to the news binding club. I don't think we've had the pleasure of meeting. I'm Professor Noxmare, but just Noxmare will do fine. If you must honor me, some, some students call me Master Noxmare. Look at the eyebrows. <laughs> it's a new expression. Mm. <laughs> I gulp. That comes later. Now, what's your name, boy? I'm... Boy. Uh... It's Kobu again. Is it the same uh, character as the other game? I think his name defaulted to Kobu. What if they're just using what if they're just using old assets? <laughs> like this is they're just reusing yeah. the game engine. <laughs> they just they copy pasted the same visual novel over, then just started replacing the assets. So the, <laughs> so like the, the underlying code stayed the same at the beginning. I'm 
uh, Kobu, second year student, uh, but this is my first week here. A new student? What brings you to these hollowed halls? I'm here to get uh, hollowed, I mean, uh, well, it's, it's because my dad got a new job and he wanted the whole family to move. Ah. Wasn't listening. Whoa! <laughs> the professor turns around and takes a seat on the teacher's desk. That is not what I thought was happening. Yeah, All right, King, do your presidential duties. Hi, all. Welcome to the first news binding club meeting for the year. I guess presumably other people are here. We're, we're starting? Oh. <laughs> I look behind me, expecting <laughs> some other students to join to the back door, but there are none. As we all can see, we have one new member today. Yeah. I raise my paw and wave sheepishly. Is that insensitive? I think Sorry. it is. I think that was very prejudiced. <laughs> Sorry to cut in, but why exactly did you join this club? I was looking for the restroom. It's because... King made me. <laughs> King made me join her. I love what this club does. Meanwhile, we don't know what this club does. It's Again, no. it's probably, I don't know, reading the news off a teleprompter while you're getting shibarried. Uh, King made me join makes the protagonist sound incredibly submissive. Uh, I, I, don't, I didn't really have a choice. Uh, during club registration, King was there and he's really pushing for me to join. Oh my god, that face. <laughs> King? King winces. I didn't force him to join, I gave the same pitch to all the new students. He's just such a bottom, that's all it took. <laughs> It's what it is. Oh, that's weird to say it that way. You can't contract that one. <laughs> it is what it is. The club does not does need more members. I guess I should explain what our club does a bit more now. So we're basically the university newspaper club. We run a web page filled with what's new and exciting on campus. I'll send you the link, Kobu. I open the web page. It's a basic blogging site with a white backdrop. King has made three posts over the past month. The mystery of the missing vegetarian choices. The truth behind Taco Thursday. Oh, Thursday? The alliteration's gone. You can't do that. <laughs> New gym opens up on campus. The number of visitors on the site seems to be in the double digits, with the most reading, the most read article being the new gym opening. So this year we'll be churning out more articles and getting more readers to check us out. With a positive outlook and a little bit of traction, we can gain members and hopefully secure our position as a club. So you're, they're not even an official club yet. Womp. They've made attempts. <laughs> uh, what do you we mean joined by the SOS secure? <laughs> He opens his mouth, but closes it. He looks like he said something he shouldn't have. I can't really explain it. The university admins were quite against the formation of a newspaper club. Well, you, you, you said something about a, about dog whistle, and they're like, excuse me, that's very insensitive. <laughs> they reasoned that past newspaper clubs only brought trouble for the university. I reason that if they didn't let me form the club, I would bring the trouble to them right then and there. Of course, now they're being really anal about the rules of forming a club. My guess is that these people are going to get pretty anal here soon. <laughs> yeah, you had to wait a second for that one to sink in. That's how you know it's a good joke. Club can only remain active if by the end of a four month trial period, the club has an advisor and four or more members. You underestimate how bad the latency might be sometimes. <laughs> Man, I didn't expect to be joining a club in Jeopardy from the get-go. I know I sort of strong-armed you into joining, but if you don't wish to continue, I'll understand. And also look at these strong arms. I like to imagine <laughs> that he's he's just skinny as shit. I yep, think he was. I think he was. It. I think he was really small in the other game. I don't know if he got bigger in that game. Uh, well, he said this was just his winter coat, but then look at his look at those fucking gams. <laughs> He's got yeah. huge legs. Like, how aggressive is that coat? Is it <laughs> like 
Is it sculpted? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> he sculpts it like it's a topiary. <laughs> I think it's just a... Uh, I think it's like just a, a cute lampshade on the idea of just reusing the same character, but now he's Barra. Because if I remember correctly, do... he was like a skinny, flamboyant guy. You could just nope out immediately. We, yeah, I, I was going to say, what happens if we just leave? <laughs> Let's find out. Look, I need to join at least one active club to keep my place in the dorms. I'm sorry, but this is too risky for me. King Wait, so they're down. talking to us directly? He's talking to us directly. We're an actual character now. But, well, I think Kobu said this to them. King looks Why down. would he say it's too risky for me? Uh, misuse of his time, I guess. It's not going to further any of his goals. But he needs to join at least one club, right? Yeah, but this one's not a, an active. This one's not currently a club. Oh, go oh, gotcha. I see what you're saying. Okay, never mind. You are correct. He was saying that to him. I got excited for a second. I thought there was going to be some goofy fourth wall breaking. Like he's talking directly to us. Yeah, I was like, did the game just sass us for picking the leave option? Like, I was like <laughs> a little bit taken aback. King looks down, crestfallen upon hearing my abrupt decision. I leave the meeting, the meeting and the news binding club. I is it ever called that in real life? I'm genuinely curious because I've never, I'm just so caught off guard I've, by what's called. I've been a member of many newspaper clubs in my education. I have never heard it referred to as a newspaper binding club. Yeah, I never worked on the newspaper, but I was, I was in the yearbook club or yearbook class for two years. In the coming months, I don't hear anything about them. And my memories about that meeting fade away into the background. Despite leaving, I managed to find a group of friends between my studies. We even go for go for coffee on Saturdays. After two years, I graduate and I go on with my life. <laughs> <laughs> things work. <laughs> if you don't do this, uh, things are fine. Your life is fine. Just nothing. None of this happens, but you're fine. <laughs> that's that's the outcome, basically. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to let it get this one specifically. But let's change. There you go. Stay in the club. Shockingly, the stay in the club option is how you get the story about the club that the game is. I'll stay. I'd feel bad to just come here and go like that. If anything, I'll find a new club after this one dies. <laughs> it burnt. Oxmere chuckles with a wry smile. I can see hints of tears welling in King's eyes. Thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to me. Oh, happy tears. I thought we were just going to crush him with our words no matter what option we pick. No, Noxmare was just about to be like, you're the one that's going to die. And then he kills <laughs> us with his whip. They're all bad endings. Plot twist. You actually have to, yep, exactly. you have to, you actually have to guess it's... the correct name to give yourself in order to survive the first choice. Well, technically, I mean, in a sense, joining the club just leads to all bad endings. There's no good endings from here on out. Like the only the only way to the only way to survive is the first choice is to disarm the whip user. So you, you need to name yourself like what's what's the name of the of death in a in Symphony of the Night? It takes all your items away. Like death. I thought he had like a weird name. No, are you like thinking of Shaft? Steel. Yeah, Shaft. I think I'm thinking of Shaft. Shaft is a different character. He's the necromancer, but yes. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Look at you, fake Castlevania fan. I haven't played it since. Uh, How many times it can we reference at... Symphony of the Night in a Let's Try? <laughs> I don't play <laughs> video games in my thing. free time. What do you think? I am a gamer? Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh. <laughs> I played the, the, the shit out of the beginning out of it as a kid, and I probably beat it at some point. And then I played all the way through it in a, when it came out on Xbox 360, which itself is a yeah. classic game console now. So it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's also when I last played uh, Banjo-Kazooie before I did a series like last year or whatever. I chuckle while my shoulders feel heavier because of all this weight you're gonna have to bear. You're actually the person that gets to do all the real responsibilities because it's a video game. So, uh, where do we go from here? I can't get over the height dynamic that's been sitting on the screen for a while here. Uh, before you two begin, I will explain my role and lay down the ground rules. I need to head back to the office soon. 
Oh yeah, go right ahead, prof. As the club advisor, my role is to oversee and approve your activities. Unlike the dean, I am all for journalistic freedom. Which is why the last club was shut down. That said, I am still a member of the, sta of the staff, and you are all students of this alma mater. Alma mater? That means... Noxmar takes out his whip and unfurls one loop, holding it tight between his hands. If I catch word of any of you breaking the rules, you bet your ass, be it flat or fat, will be getting whipped into shape. Not the, it's not the way you end, expect a conversation to end when you're introduced to the idea of being uh, responsible dynamics between staff and students. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he cracks the whip to emphasize his threat. Now, please continue, King. Awesome. So, as president, I appoint Kobu as vice president. If you meet anyone who wants to join, you have the authority to bring them in. Thanks, I suppose. Recruiting recruiting for a club that we don't know anything about. <laughs> <laughs> Newspaper is what we know about. Well, sounds like you two have things under control. <laughs> my, my, <laughs> you haven't done anything. My duty is complete. <laughs> uh, I'll be in my office then. I'm on the second floor if you need me. Be there if you need some extra income, you can drop by. I have a research project that could use some assistance. Bye, Prof. What the fuck? Random brain words go burr. Later, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> I clasp my mouth. Hmm. <laughs> The Link smirks at me as though he expected me to say that all along. Just as the professor is out of earshot, King closes on me. His wide, smug smirk looking over the side of my face. Daddy? That tongue. What is happening <laughs> there? <laughs> I don't oh my know. god. <laughs> I was holding in a hiccup so bad when I said that that my voice changed entirely. <laughs> Sorry, viewers. <laughs> it was a slip of the tongue, I swear. I think that's never happened before, and this tongue never. Uh, King laughs out loud. <laughs> King, I'm serious here. I, I don't have a thing for Professor Knoxmare. That's impossible. It hard cuts to them having a thing for, for, for Professor Knoxmare. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a thing for Professor no Knoxmare. Even if I did, I wouldn't say that out loud. No, it's not that. It's just, it's not the first time I've heard someone say something kind of horny to Noxmare. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure he likes the attention. He just dresses like that by coincidence. <laughs> All right, let's discuss what our next newspaper update should have. Just so you know, we update every two weeks. What kind of topics does this newspaper cover? I didn't really get a feel of a theme from the site. We cover everything and anything Kibbleton U related. If it will catch the reader's eyes, we'll write it. Recent events, sports, media reviews, and so on and so forth. You know, boring stuff. <laughs> Where do you even hear about all these things? That's where our journalistic skills come in. We've got to listen in, investigate, and ask questions. Have you considered hiring uh, journalism students? <laughs> <laughs> People with journalistic skills, <laughs> you know? In fact, you think that, that that major might run this club? Yeah, it might be might be handled by like a journalism professor or something, I don't know. <laughs> it's, instead, of, instead of the fucking like cowboy? I don't know what the fuck's happening there. <laughs> Animal husbandry teacher. Uh, here, I'll let you have this lead I got recently. There's word going around campus that the bio lab is haunted. Oh, so we're real journalism. Is Come that again? the plot of? Is that the plot of the other novel that the bio lab is haunted? Uh, the plot of the other novel is that you are the, uh, the 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 Lord of Hell dies, or the Lord of the Underworld, and you are his heir, his kind of deadbeat son. And there's a coup, and so you are—you're the the heir to the underworld, but you just get like a 
normal job working at like a convenience store on Earth, and it probably wraps mm -hmm. back around to the original thing at some point. Because I think I think you and kind of like the... ghosts and things. Wasn't that the plot of an actual anime? Like, Maybe that there an are anime? infinity I think it's called... animes. Yeah, I think that that is. I mean, it's like a recent one. There's like an anime called like The Devil Is a Part Timer, and it's about like the devil or the devil's son or something working at a convenience store, and the shenanigans <laughs> that go down because of that. Uh, I, uh, interesting. I mean this. I, I'm not trying to be mean, but I do mean this sincerely. Uh, when Stephanie and my brother were trying to show me part ones of various animes the other day, and they were ones I'd never, largely not. Not necessarily. Was I, uh, we did watch part one of the the Magus Bride, uh, but while they're scrolling through, it sincerely felt like there were these were AI generated. Like there was just like yeah. fifty anime that I've absolutely never heard of, and all looked like they were almost the same show, like a, a collage of, of yeah. little girls, like anime girls' faces that all looked like the same characters as the yeah. other shows. And I'm like I'm losing my mind. I'm like, how do you tell no. these apart? This is such a struggle. This is a this is an actual thing. So this is something I know a lot about. Um, so for, for viewers who don't know, like I have, a, I have a degree in Japanese. I originally was going to work as a translator. I studied abroad in Japan. I wrote my dissertation about anime, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty well versed in this stuff. Back in like the 80s and the 90s and even the early 2000s, we averaged somewhere between like 80 to like 180 shows per season which sounds like a lot but that counts things like five minute interstitial shows two minute long shows and a lot of those things were original ips nowadays on average there are like 400 shows per season that's not an exaggeration there are a lot of anime airing now <sighs> produced by so many different companies all competing for the same time slots and most of them are adaptations specifically of light novels and web novels and a lot of those are as bad as you would expect. Like every isekai is basically the same. Every idol anime is basically the same structure. This is why every single Japanese ideas. video game seems to have an anime adaptation because there's just they're hungry. Yes. They're just using every single yeah. thing they can source. Exactly. And so we're currently in a world where a lot of the differentiation comes purely from flavor text. So you'll get the isekai anime that's like, oh, I got transported to another world and I have my cell phone. And then you'll get another studio's take on that, which is like, I got transported to another world, but I have a plastic, uh, I have a plastic shopping bag. And the whole show is just about like what would what kind of hijinks can you get into and what kind of old world problems can you solve with just your modern ingenuity in a plastic shopping bag <laughs> and then it's just like it's like all of these shows and adaptations and light novels and web novels are all just building off the, the doctor e each Steel. other original character Steel. so it, so it's just it's very much like this idea of like what if you took fan fiction that was responding to other fan fiction that was responding to another series that like got actually published so we're like three degrees removed from an original ip and it's just all meta commentary all talking about each other to each other and then you made 400 shows based off of that so yeah like anime right now is kind of in a really dire state there's other there's other reasons for that like economic reasons uh and and uh, job related reasons, uh, the animation industry, especially in, in East Asia right now, is not doing well. Southeast Asia, even worse. Uh, people are working for like horrible wages. Uh, so like anime, not super ethically produced, as it turns out. Um, and, and granted, that's been a problem for a long time. But uh, but yeah, no, you browsing through a bunch of anime and then thinking they all look the same and they all have nonsense titles that seem like they're AI generated. No, that's like a completely valid thing to, to <laughs> say right now, because There's every be single anime title is very mad. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. matter. Oh, I Doesn't can't matter. wait. Come at me. At me on Twitter. Comment on my YouTube videos about how angry you are or that I haven't watched. You know, I'm I'm stuck in another world with a, with a backhoe and it's going to solve all my problems or whatever. I'm trapped in an MMO video game, but I don't want to engage with any of the systems. <laughs> whatever the fuck anime is airing right now. Uh, anime titles right now are also like longer than emo album song names. Like, it's just like ridiculous how long and off topic they are. I can't uh, understand so. what my husband is saying. It's a real one, I think. Well, that, yeah, that one's not that bad. There, there are some that are literally so long that they just hyper explain the entire premise of the plot. Um, and they have like I'm parentheticals, look, this, uh, <laughs> like, like yeah. song titles. 
Uh, the, uh, let, let me see if I can. But the last find anime one. I watched was Odd Taxi, and it was good. Odd Taxi is really good. Um, you yeah, so watch like there's Odd here's Taxi, one. Everyone. We're off task. There is there's an We're anime titled tasks. The Misfit of <laughs> the the Misfit of Demon King Academy. History's strongest Demon King reincarnates and goes to school with his descendants. That's literally the title. So it's like Kingdom Hearts uh, titles one. where you can't make a parody of it. It's impossible. Yeah. Well, Kingdom Hearts titles are at least like metaphorical nonsense. This is literally just a description of the show. Yeah, like, I, I just mean put, like you they can't, like accidentally you can't make pasted the doobly doo into the title. You can't make a joke title version that reads as a joke because of the fact no. that the your sincere titles feel like a joke. <laughs> like yeah. it's, it's like an onion article of itself. There's there's another one. Kochi Kame. This is the police station in front of Kameari Park in Katsushika Ward. That's just the title of the show. Oh. Well, anyway, most, let's, get, most let's get back cases. to the Haunted Love file lab before we lose yeah, their minds. There's no point. There's no point. I'm sorry, everyone. This was a 10 minute tangent. All right. Let me get into my king voice. All right. Gotta puff up my chest. A student who left their laptop in the bio lab two weeks ago went in search of it around midnight. For me, it works perfectly that it sounds like you're just putting on like a, oh, this is my big boy voice. Because... Yeah, I voice I'm doing. I'm pretty sure I voice King, like, like a student who left their laptop in the bio lab to, like... <laughs> <laughs> so, but now he's huge, like, this is what I sound like now. <laughs> how did they access... How did they get access to the lab, much less the campus? Don't the guards usually lock up the place after 11? Laboratory students can get after-hours passes if they need access to the equipment for their projects. So, how's the lab haunted? Well, they said it was raining that night, and when they were walking down the hallway... Wait, they it was raining that night when they were walking down the hallway. They heard hushed whispers and muffled cries coming from the room. Uh, does that mean it's haunted? Uh. From the laboratory windows. <laughs> that, just, that, that just sounds like... That just sounds like there are two people in a room. That's all he, I'm saying. He, well... They're having a room party. Yeah. This is this is not this is a very obvious setup. All right. I'm just I'm just saying, even in normal circumstances, you walk down a hallway, you hear hushed whispers and muted screaming <laughs> from a room. My guess isn't that it's haunted. It's that there are two people in that room it's doing something. It's very much like why are the why are the lights in this hotel room at this furry con purple? <laughs> From the laboratory windows, the person saw a massive figure with four arms and two heads writhing about. Yep. <laughs> the, the first place you jump is that it's haunted by an evil demon and definitely yep. not that two people are banging. <laughs> the alien interpretation of somebody who's just never heard of sex. <laughs> they, have <Yep>. no, <laughs> they have no idea what the idea is. Then one of the heads turned to them. The student fell to their knees and crawled out of there. Whoa. They got their laptop the next day, and there was no sign of the monster anywhere. I asked around, and apparently this wasn't the first time such a creature was spotted. So these are just their exhibitionists who keep getting caught. <laughs> over and over again. That's, that's, the they want. that's their goal. Yeah, <laughs> they're getting off on it. Everyone else is just confused. Does it still count as exhibition if, uh, exhibitionism if the people who catch you don't know what you're doing? It's... It counts for you if you don't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a it's if just you're a witnessed on some here. level, perhaps. But yeah, if you if it was explained to you in great detail that no one has been understanding this entire time that you're up to something naughty, then it's probably disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> Descriptions of the beast seem to change with each person, but one thing always stays constant: a creature was seen on Saturday night believe the rumor a, a monster I, I'm not qualified to deal with that all I have is a high school certificate what good is that against something out of Lovecraft's daydream all right I hear you it's scary knowing there's a possible monster out there but if no one finds out what will happen I let out a long sigh I guess I'll single-handedly save the town from monsters so it's more like Lovecraft's wet dream. Fine. <laughs> I better get a freaking scholarship if I make it out alive. 
So find out what that thing is and report back to me. Feel free to ask around for more information. It'll help sell the story better. What guarantee do I have that anyone will talk to me? None whatsoever. My jaw drops. We're not actual journalists, but from my experience, if you ask nicely, people will be open to talk. I suppose I can try. Before I forget, this is for you. He hands me a key. This is... It's the biolab key. You'll need it to get inside. How did you even get this? The source of the scoop lent me their key. Took good care of it. I need it back on... Uh, take good care of it. I need it back on Monday. I'll guard it with my life, but not. What if the source is is Professor Noxmare and he just wanted to rail King? <laughs> <laughs> just luring That's him in. That's the spirit. Now let's discuss club uniform designs. I'm thinking full pink. They really they frame it like a joke, but I don't think it's I don't like, like that that would just work. Just put him in pink. Although I think he was pink. Uh, another half hour passes and the club meeting ends. Is it a club meeting when just two people are talking? Not really, no. Is it really work when two people are just playing a video game? Hey. <laughs> Sound off in the comments. No. It's work when I edit later all the sensor <laughs> bars that might come up. Hey, we should probably head off if we're planning to make it on that last few bu on the last few buses back to town. Bus to town? Oh, I just live here in the dorms. Really? I'll, I'll come with. It'll be a good chance for me to snap pictures for my English class essay, The Stranger in the Kibbleton Dorms. You? You're the stranger? How is that what? an English class essay? I don't... Uh... Why do you need photos for your English class essay? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Actually, fun fun fact... Or, or, or boring fact, I don't know. Uh, I tested out of English. So I didn't, I just didn't take a single English class or, or any variation thereof in all of college. I just did I, I did. I don't even know what those classes are like, to be honest. I did my degree backwards and also tested out of all of my English courses. So I specialized in my first two years and then did gen ed in my last two, which made my uh, college very, very uh, relaxing for my final two years. But, uh, Except, well, one of those years I was living in Japan, but the uh, the last year was very easy. But as part of a requirement, you can't test out of English 101 at the university that I went to. Oh. So I, I took English 101 as the very last course I took in my senior year of my undergrad. And I was like 21 or 22 and a class full of freshmen. <laughs> and my professor pulled me aside and was like, I know we have rules. Like, I have attendance rules that say, like, if you miss three classes, you will fail. But, like, you have written your dissertation already. You can literally leave. Like, you don't need to be here. Just do your homework and come to the tests, and you're fine. And I was like, thank you. We watched Repo the Genetic Opera in that class, which was a, it was a wacky time. That is a wild it was movie. A yeah, it was a crazy thing for all of these these kids basically to watch. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I've seen this movie before. I could write a paper about it. And my professor was like, of course you could. Don't come in. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> this is very funny. She was a very, very good professor. She was cool. You sure you won't miss your bus? I don't mind. I've walked back to town before. So I got these gams. <laughs> King and I make our way back uh, over to the dorms. Walking next to him, I wonder if I should say something. No, I should just sit here silently and do nothing. I hate story. I hate story in my visual novel. So, the stranger in the Kibbleton dorms. What's that about? Fiction? Non-fiction? It's a romance story. Uh, will they or won't they piece inspired by the notorious sexcapades in the Kibbleton dorms. With possible hunt scenes that borderline on the erotic. That is not an essay for your English class, my friend. That is porn that you are writing for your friends. Yeah, is this, is this for your AO3 account? Are you lying? Are you lying to me about this being for a class? Then again, it seems like the professors are fucking the students. So, I mean, it, maybe it is yeah, for a class. Who that can might say? just be what this school is like. I stop walking and blink at him. 
This is the future that liberals want. <laughs> <laughs> I, I beg your pardon? Maybe his class is just like, maybe his English credit is just like Literatica 101. Maybe he's just ha learning to write Literatica. Yeah. Well, well, I can see you're new here. You found it hard to get a dorm room, yeah? That's all because the dorm is famous for suiting and skitting it on with one another. That's every dorm. He's every taking, dorm. He's taking English 621. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good joke. That was better than my joke earlier. That's Keith one, Toaster zero right now. Whoa, that's the scoreboard if keeping anyone's score? keeping track. What? Is there like a, a gas leak that makes everyone horny or something? So no, it's just the, it's the atmosphere. <laughs> it's a different kind of gas leak. Some say it's the atmosphere. Well, that and university students being horny by default. It's in our settings. <laughs> Back to my story, it's going to be about a new student in the dorms trying to resist his blossoming feelings towards his other male roommates. Oh, that's steamy. I guess gays are just default in this universe. Yeah. It's like when you invert the look setting. <laughs> you invert your look. Yep. It's PG-13, but you'll bet it'll knock the professor's socks off and his pants off. I'll show it to you after I'm done. Except, sure, I'd like that. We arrive at the gate to the dorms. The sleek electronic gate is just for show. It hasn't worked. Any, it hasn't worked any day I've come here. I was gonna say, do you Imagine. really want? Would you want a gate to the dorms? How often does I have to open and close for the thousands of people coming through? Imagine any college dorm that looks this nice. I, I've they never. Have I've actually never this seen a college a dorm. dorm before. They're usually long, flat buildings or very, very tall skyscrapers, and they most certainly do not have garages. Look at that right next to his elbow. That's a garage door. That is a garage door. I guess I kind of figured, I, I basically just imagined, uh, like, a hotel, essentially. Because <laughs> it's just like a series of small yeah. rooms. That's very much what like a, what a dorm is like, except it has like communal bathrooms. So worse. <laughs> <laughs> On the gate's surface, there are numerous scribbles of people's names, messages of love, and promises to be to, to be together with one another. King smiles widely at the gate. He walks over to a particular spot in the bottom left corner, touching one of the names. His paw reaches for his fleece, and he pulls out a phone, snapping a picture of the name. It's like a it's like a lady pulling a phone out of her bra. Like <laughs> he just puts shit in his fleece. <laughs> Got her first typo. The instant he turns to me, I look away. Gotta remember, it's rude to stare. At this point, I feel like that's just like, it just fills people's old meter in this in this town. Yep. King saunters <laughs> over to me. Do you know the name of this gate? I shake my head. Everyone knows it. Oh. Everyone knows it as the Promise Gate. Usually those in love would write each other uh, would write each of their names here as a promise they would love each other. The gate got prop popular after two graduates wrote their names here, met again after five years, and finally got married. Then all kinds of rumors sprouted out, saying the gate protects the love of those who write their names here. That if you and your loved one meet again at this gate after a breakup, you'll always be together. His eyes seem misty as he looks up past the gate. I get the sense that he's looking at one of the dorm buildings. King takes another picture before storing his phone away. That cheating bitch. <laughs> Anyways, look at me rambling on. God, I'm turning into my dad. Sorry for keeping you out here. No, it's fine. Uh, I learned something new about this place. Oh, should we take a selfie to commemorate our first club meeting? Sure, why not? <laughs> King rushes over to my side. He's growing. It will soon be unstoppable. <laughs> Pressing up against his thick fleece feels soft like cashmere. It's hard to resist the urge to bury my face deeper into the alpaca's neck. Smile. This guy's just horny. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just by default VN protagonist. I quickly force my lips up into a smile just as King presses the shutter button. Perfect. 
perfect. Let me send it to you. Oh, right. Let me add you on pot chat. What's your username? We exchange contacts and he instantly sends over the selfie. All right, before I go, one last thing. The alpaca pulls me in for a hug. He smells like apples. See, he's got he's got his own scent too. I mean, we're squeezed in here at this point. <laughs> mm -hmm. In this case, you would smell be... someone. <laughs> it, yeah, but it has to be something really identifiable. Yeah. Just flashbacks of rep sheets that have flavored buttholes. Yep. Yeah. He he's got a he's got a pale red butthole and it tastes like apples. That's what we just learned. <laughs> pale red. As a pink is like another term. You I'm know, just whatever. saying, like as a post, that's, that's not that's not a that is not a, a deviant color. <laughs> I mean, I guess I guess it could be a green because they didn't specify what kind of apples. You yeah. could have a green butthole and it and it could theoretically taste like uh, Granny Smiths. That's all I'm saying. He's just he's he's just a caramel apple all the way through. <laughs> Good luck, hug for tomorrow. I wish I could be there, but my parents watch me like a hawk on weekends. Don't die, okay? Or worse, get caught. I'll do what I can. King breaks the hug. His cheeks are rosy red from all the smiling. With that, we part ways. I enter the shared living room. Someone's left their sleeveless TV t-shirt uh, with the word DEAD on the sofa. Huh. I wonder if my non-existent housemates are home. I walk across the room to the flight of stairs where our rooms and only bathroom is located. There are four student rooms. Mine is the furthest down the hallway. The door next to mine has a video game character sticker on it. It's the main villain of, It's main villain, the Overlord from the MMO, Divine Destiny 14. Wow, I wonder what game that could be. <laughs> across from that uh, from that room is a door that has rock music playing softly from behind it. I head into my room. Opening the door, I'm greeted with by the single bed and small desk included in the room. One of the reasons I have the furthest room is because it's the smallest, most importantly, and, and most importantly, the cheapest. I drop my bag to the side and consider what I want to do for the rest of the day. What is studying? I do wonder what studying means here. But also, sleeps might, sleeping might lead to a dream. Mm -hmm. And I guess game lore is also an option, but it seems like the least interesting option for the world building and storytelling, potentially. Yeah, we could try sleep. Of course you would. I sleep the night away. Although I expected to have nightmares about the monster in the biolab, I don't recall anything about my dream in the morning. Well, okay, that was uneventful. This is the skip to the horny scene <laughs> option. Yeah, I guess so. It's Saturday. I'm s snugly tucked into my bed. I shift between sleep and awakening as the hours tick by. Turning from side to side is hard to keep my sleeping, <laughs> keep on sleeping with my <laughs> dick pressing hard against my pants. I can't stay like this the whole day. Knock, knock. Hmm. Knock, knock. I'm not here. Knock, knock. That's just his dick against the table. I pull myself <laughs> up from my bed, my erection swinging side to side like a dowsing rod looking for water. What is... Okay, maybe this this literally was a skip to the horny scene button. <laughs> this, is the, this is the level of thirst here. Hang on. I take a minute to calm my lower half before answering the door. The most disappointing option. Strangely, when I open the door, no one's there. I look down and spot a plain looking brown cardboard box. Is this for me? I take the box into my room and plop it onto my bed. Well, since I'm awake, I better get dressed before I do anything. His bad dragon order just arrived. Yeah. After grabbing my toiletries and a change of clothes, I head to the bathroom to shower. What is this bathroom? Whoa. This is like a hotel bathroom. This is not a dorm bathroom. <laughs> Don't you only have four housemates? You all have your own I mean, shower? A, I mean, your own, you have your, your, your own sink at once? Well, to be fair, when I when I lived in the dorms, like 
yeah, you don't have your own sink. You go into a communal bathroom, and there are usually four. Uh, that is a lot four of lotion. sinks and like I'm a joking. bunch of showers. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is like this is like a hotel. This is not or like a a bathhouse or something. This is not a. Uh, I'm just wondering why you would rotate dorm. that sink. Yeah, it's I like don't know. pressed against the window or, or pressed against the the uh, glass, the mirror. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. On the way, I hear the TV downstairs playing the jingle of the local convenience store. Sunny fruits. We're here to serve you with a smile. The fruits are the gay cashiers. Yeah. No, it's the protagonist of Where the Demon Lurks. <laughs> As the TV plays, I take my shower. I have the place all to myself. The warm waters reinvigorate my limbs. While I bathe, my ears perk up at the sound of the bathroom door opening. Stranger? No one, no one here I've should be a hurry. stranger. I've gotta hurry. Gotta hurry. Who's that? The sound of hurried steps echo through the bathroom. I can hear them turning on the tap faucet, water gushing into some kind of container before they run back out. Huh. Wonder what's got that person in a hurry. I spend a few four minutes in the a few more minutes in the shower before heading back to my room. Inside I take a closer look at the box. Wait a minute. This isn't for me. It's addressed to Kobu Dunstan. One of the housemates must have grabbed this from the postman and thought it was my mail. We really need to meet or something. I better what? return this to the owner. That's not how mail works. You don't you don't <laughs> just go up to the post the the oh god, I almost said post officer. Uh <laughs> you, you don't just go up to the yeah, the postman, the the post officer and say, "Hey, do you have any mail for X? Can I have it?" Usually yeah. they'll say no, I will deliver it to the address because that's mail theft if they give you something wrong. I mean, they don't have a way to verify who you are. That's weird. It's just canonically, no matter what, somebody else here has your first name. No matter what you choose, you get to name this Dunstan guy and ruin his life. <laughs> Taking the box, I head into the hallway. Now, where is Kobu? He's in the same building, too. Someone in the same building shares your name. I guess that's the idea is that it was delivered Dunstan. to the, I guess the idea is it was delivered to this building and then someone took it to the wrong door. Yeah. Dunstan Dunstan. Yeah, Dunstan Dunstan, exactly. Uh Soft Rock or Overlord sticker from Final Fantasy fourteen. Meet the MMO dude. I wanna see what the gamers are like. I knock on the on the door to the room I knock on the door to the right of my room. Who is it? The male voice behind the door sounded frantic, like I caught them in the, in the act of a crime. <laughs> well, we know what's happening here. Uh, this is Kobu. I'm the guy in the next room. Are you Kobu? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just come in. It's not locked. I wonder if the other one would have been <laughs> Kobu as well, like no matter what. For a second there, I thought this was the Black Keys or something. Like, lonely boy. <laughs> Okay. I push my weight against the door. It creaks open. For some reason, the room is dark, the only source of light coming from the floor in front of me. I gasp. <laughs> There's a brown wolf on his knees, holding his hands together in prayer. It's built like some kind of glowing red pentagram. What does that sentence mean? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of built like a fridge, but I'm not used to it's like he's built like a neon sign. I'm like, what do you well, say? There's, to me? there's no like in that sentence. It means he built a glowing red pentagram. Oh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> he's built some kind of glowing red pentagram. There are four idols laid around each point of the pentagram. In the middle is a plastic basin of water. The pentagram faces a framed image of a demonic beast. Come to me, O oh Dark Lord of the Five Stars. Come to me. What's going on here? Huh? Huh? The wolf turns. His wide frame rises, forcing me to crane my neck just to keep eye contact. Everyone's just massively taller than me. <laughs> Holy. 
His arms are mountainous. Each bicep as large as my head. My jaw drops. His broad chest juts out of the neckline of his tank top, giving me a full view of the dude's nipples. I force myself to avert my gaze, looking up to see his surprised face. What? Don't what me? This is super suspicious. Are you summoning a demon? It's not what it looks like. He runs over to the wall and flicks on the lights. I'm just doing a gotcha ritual. Oh, he's the God, worst. He's I, hate yeah, I hate him. Yeah, I hate him. He's the. I hate he's him. He's the worst. No, you've ruined everything. <laughs> gotcha. Tilts head sideways like ah. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Nani. Nani. <laughs> Looking back at the pentagram, it's made up of glow sticks, and the idols are just anime girl figurines. I'm confused. It's just something I saw online. See, I'm playing this mobile game. He pulls out a black phone from his pocket and opens an app. Ember Lion Boyfriend's EX. What does that have to do with that summoning circle? I've only got enough gems for 11 pulls. I really need that new unit, so I'm praying to the RNG gods. You could just play a good video game instead. <laughs> yeah, you could literally play anything else. You can just look up the art on the wiki. <laughs> uh, Kobu's phone alarm goes off. It's time to summon. Five star come. Five star come. Uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's been tested by a sommelier. His index finger slams the phone's surface with enough force that I swear I hear it crack. From where I stand, I have a clear view of the screen. As every card is flipped over, Kobu smiles. Kobu's smile deteriorates until... Kobu shakes. <laughs> Nothing. Not even a four star. <laughs> he turns in a huff and throws his phone onto his bed. Uh... Distract Kopa with the package. Never want to acknowledge gotcha again. Never. Hey, uh, about this package I've been holding? Kobu sighs and he turns to me with a, my, a tired gaze. Ah, my physical gotcha's here. <laughs> Just put it wherever, I'll get to it. You sure you don't want to see how this stuff inside is doing? I just worry that it might have damaged by, I might have damaged it by mistake. What's the point? I'm short one unit to stay relevant in this game. <laughs> My life is forfeit. He's a gamer dude with gamer ridge. He grabs his phone, staring at it in defeat. It's just really... <laughs> you just don't ask someone... You don't push someone... Like, Are you sure you don't want to open this package in front of me? This package this you got? Package? This unmarked it's package? This unmarked package from Jan Mulder? <laughs> All I have is one last pull. Give it a go, then. Give it a tug. Come on, Kobu. Why? I'm nowhere hitting the. I'm nowhere near hitting the pity. What? Is that the pity mean? roll? In gotcha games, if you don't get what you want for enough, you like trade in the units that you have ground. Like, let's say you get like a hundred one stars in a row. Oh, it's Typically, like when you. There's like it's a, like when you It's like when you disenchant stuff into dust, and then you use yes, that as a currency. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. predatory. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but you've come this far. You might as well just finish it. Then you could... I shake the box lightly in front of my wolf. Try this out. My wolf? Wow, you've already gotten a little bit of uh, like an attachment, don't you? Did I say, did I say my wolf? You did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, since he sounds so desperate to have me open that box. We're just like, we can fix him. You do the pull then. What Give me a dynamic? tug, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> me? Why? I have no energy to be disappointed further. So you could disappoint me. <laughs> With your touch. He walks over to me, close enough that I can smell his morning musk. I wonder when he last showered. Offaromas.org or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just tap the button. Uh, delete account? Are you, are you sure? <laughs> yes. 
A bright purple button with the words SUMMON in bold letters shines back at me. Seeing, setting the box down, I tap the phone. Kobu gasps. A card studded with diamonds appears on the screen. Diamonds that aren't real because it's video game graphics. It glows white and transforms into the image of the character Kobu was praying to. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was not ready for fucking hollow foil rainbow road Kobu. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got a preview of this a bit because Where the Demon Lurks was one of the first visual novels I played that was like clearly making an effort to like incorporate a bunch of like animated things to try to add to the the yeah. uh, presentation, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He has so much he's a golden retriever. Kobo's hands reach under my armpits and I'm hoisted off the ground. You did it! Whoa, your phone. He swings me around like a rag doll, his bright brown eyes shining as bright as the glow on his phone. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is how you get your cardio in. You just, you just let this run for a while. Just tucker him out. <laughs> he, spins me, he, sp he spins me a couple more times and I realize and releases me like a Beyblade. Are we gonna go through a wall? I crash on the bed, and he grabs the phone midair and kisses it. I'm still in the game, baby. I groan as I stumble back up, thanking my lucky stars that I landed on the bed and not anything else. Pomf, what are we gonna do on the bed, Oni-chan? <laughs> <Come on. laughs> and it's all thanks to you, buddy. Oh, I know just the thing to repay you. Time to describe what the bed smells like. Ask for more. Ask for more. <laughs> more, please. After that spin, I'll take whatever you've given more. Kobu frowns. Give an inch, take a mile, huh? Only an inch? <laughs> oh no. He walks over to his box and opens it. Kobu pulls out a few packets of sweets that have Chinese text on the labels. He's such a fucking weep. <laughs> so, nice. So I've much. been waiting for these. I've been waiting for these bad boys for over a month. You can have one. Is this his like his weeb box? His uh, what, what what's it called? Yeah, uh, there's like a Tokyo like crate or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> and Japan crate and uh, Boksu is one of them. There's a lot of competing ones. Uh, they're usually bad. <laughs> they're, they're usually incredibly they're expensive, and they have really repetitive stuff inside, like from box to box. It's very disappointing. Yeah, they're not worth it. What do they taste like? Yeah, they're sweet, and they have strong nutty flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Nut. He opens a bag so and <laughs> takes out two smaller <laughs> rectangular packages. Horny. Try it. I hesitantly take one of them. The wolf rips off the cover of his packet and chows down on the nut bar. Nom 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 I just looked up I open mine. The sweet is a rectangular bar that looks like many smaller nuts glued together. I rub the candy with my fingertips. It's sticky but firm. Kobu looks at me with a huge grin, gesturing towards me to eat it. Bottoms up! That's weird. I, that's not <laughs> what that means. No. Nope. I take a bite. No, nope, it's just double entendre for the per sake of it. Yep. Butts up, buddy. It's me. Mmm. <laughs> the bar is crunchy, crunchy, and I get a huge hit of honey on the first bite, followed by the delectable flavor of nuts. This is good. <laughs> Right? <laughs> the, the the emphasis on previewing the, the tongue faces is very funny. <laughs> We've had two already. We continue eating some more. I've never seen you around here before. Your next door neighbor that's been here for... Wait, no, we just got here. We're not, we haven't been here for a year. What do you mean? I live next door. Uh, really? I thought that was a broom closet. Dude. So 
so what you majoring in? Something pretty niche. Don't ask about the job prospects. I won't. What are you doing today anyways? He eagerly opens another bar. I've got a club thing to do, actually. Bub? What club? I'm in the news binding club. It's kind of a newspaper club. Like, it's literally a kind of newspaper club, actually. Never knew we had one of those, either. Well, what club were you in? None. I was in a video games club once, but no one wanted to meet. Then I hopped to a parkour club, but there was too much jumping around. Now I'm in nothing. What's this club activity that has you all busy on a Saturday? I've got to investigate the bio lab. You heard of, you heard the rumors about that place? Oh yeah, pretty intense stuff. Kobo grins widely. He is the monster. <laughs> it's freaking people out. I can't believe something so big could be in there. I would. Have you seen the place? It's close to the dorms, far from prying eyes. It's not far from prying eyes. They've been caught multiple times. That's the whole point. <laughs> That's the, it's the opposite of far from prying eyes. In fact, it's, it's close enough that it has happened multiple times now. It's the perfect place for something like that to happen. Uh, honestly, it sounds like he already knows what's happening. Are you going there? Yeah, it does. Like, yeah, it's just the hookup spot. Like, it's, it's, it's on uh, the furry grinder. Make up a name. So funny. Uh, I am. Uh, I am. You wouldn't want to come, would you? Me? Seriously? I'd love to come. <laughs> <laughs> you want me in the bio lab with you at night? Yeah, I mean, I'm anticipating things will get rough. This is so. <laughs> this yeah. is. Oh, this rough. Is... That would be a good name for Furry Grinder. R U yeah. F F. Yeah. But it's also the. Uh... This is definitely just a, a like like a known hookup spot, and he knows that, and we no one in our club knows that, and we're just fucking yep. losers. Yep. Oh heck yeah! It's just like that one bathroom stall, you know, the one with the. <laughs> Plus, you look well built. I don't think anyone would mess with you. They wouldn't if they knew what's good for him. He raises both arms and flexes. Yeah, so. I would definitely appreciate it if you would come with me. I'm not gonna lie. I think you're cute and all, but this sudden? <laughs> cute? You know what? To heck with it. I'll see you there. We'll have some fun. <laughs> we do not know what we're getting ourselves into. He lets out a hearty laugh. All right. I'll see you at the lab at midnight. Don't get caught. No worries. I know my way around. I wonder if you if the other door is a dead end that just redirects back to this door or if it's a second route with a different character for the same outcome. Part of me wonders if it's the same either way. Like you get Kobu no matter which room you pick and He's his just, personality is just slightly oh, different. Oh, his personality changes like you're customizing Kobu. That's weird. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's my guess. It's a slight voice acting headache when you're like trying to watch the names and it's the same name changing colors. <laughs> Yeah, I kept almost missing it because I was just was yeah. reading. I saw Kobu every time. With that, I returned to my room. There's still some time for me to do something before the investigation tonight. What should I do? Yeah, it's your entire day. The in you're literally the entire day still has to happen. Relax alone. Uh, or we know what that's going to do. Or visit Prof Noxmare. These both could do something. <laughs> hmm. What are you thinking? Uh, my suggestion would be to visit Professor Noxmare, or we can relax alone and then inevitably censor out the porn that we're going to hit by clicking that option. <laughs> he's going to... He's, he, it, the choice is either are we going to make out with the professor or are we going to jerk off in our dorm? Either one is fine. Do you think we're anything's happening that fast with Professor Noxmare? Oh, I don't think that Professor Noxmare. I, I don't think we're gonna get a porn CG a, with him. A, I think he's, he's a gonna, slow build unless you walk in on us. something. I think that uh, might be possible. I think he's gonna he's gonna like domineer over us. That's my guess. I'm wondering if this is a time skip or not. It's a weekend. I think I've heard some rest. I spend the rest of the day relaxing until midnight approaches. God damn okay, it! Okay, so it is just it is it's just, just a time don't skip. do something. 
Yep. I head over to the main campus. On the second floor, I find Professor Noxmare's office. I knock on the brown door with the professor's nameplate on it. Come in. This is a wild professor's office. <laughs> a gentle floral scent of jasmine fills my lungs. The professor's table faces me. He gets up to greet me in front of his desk. Uh, Kobu, good to see you. What brings you here? Uh, hi, Professor Noxmare. Ask for an interview. I'm actually uh, investigating this case of the monster in the bio lab. I was wondering if you would be available for an interview on the matter. Me? I'm not sure how much I can contribute. Would a Professor Astaroth be a more suitable candidate? As it's that's his lab? That does make sense. Are they around? Not today. I'm the only faculty member that is here on the weekend. They don't have much of a choice, Professor. King wants an update on this case by Monday. Alright, I'll do what I can, but no promises. I pull up a chair to face the professor's table. Me facing him, looking at him, respectfully. That's code, that's looking code. Him, yeah, Ig is <laughs> gonna say, looking at him respectfully. Looking really respectfully means something, means something in this, in this <laughs> subculture. Ogling the teacher. <laughs> yes. Great. I take out my phone and turn on the voice recorder. I appreciate your help with this professor. Maybe you can shed some light on this mystery. Students are reporting that there's a monster in the bio lab that appears at night. A beast with two heads and many limbs. What do you make of it? Well, you mentioned more than one student saw the creature. That may mean we could rule out a hallucination. Is possible they mistook something in the lab for something else? Seeing illusions is actually quite common here, even in our walking, waking state. Combined with the lack of lighting in the time of day, it's... It's a very easy to mistake, to mistake a flowing curtain for a person, or the sound of a pipe knocking for someone at the door. So it's still possible this was all just one big misunderstanding. It's not interesting to say, but yes, many of the supernatural phenomena we experience have been explained away as simple tricks or miscommunications. There's Nessie, the Kraken, a lot, and a whole lot more. However, I am curious. The professor leans forward towards me. I know I'm the one being interviewed, but entertain my curiosity for a bit. What kind of person are you? Are you a boy or a girl? What is my nephew's name? Do you believe in the supernatural? What's, what was the street you first grew up on? What was the name of your first grade teacher? <laughs> what is your mother's maiden name? First pet? Favorite vacation lo yeah. location? <laughs> uh... There's nothing supernatural about the world, is what I would say, but... Damn! I, mean, I wish I could, but I really don't think the supernatural is real. Just these large naturals. <laughs> I'm convinced that whatever this lab mystery is, I'm not going... It's not going to be anything big. Oh. Some might say that's a bit pessimistic, Kobu. Perhaps. My dreams of magic and mystery in the world have been dashed one too many times. Besides, you know someone's going to look at you weird if you tell them you believe in the supernatural. I share the same sentiment. It was my partner who was the supernatural enthusiast. You had a partner? During my days as a private detective, he was always convinced some supernatural cause was at play in, those, in our cases. I've never caught her enthusiasm, but I grew to love it nevertheless. He sounds like a nice person. He was. I'll help you find love again. That's that arc. <laughs> the interview <laughs> continues for another hour before I call it a day. Thank you, Professor, for the interview. They will definitely... Th this will definitely make my article pop. No, it won't. Nope. <laughs> Not a people, chance. People think they saw something supernatural, but I was like could be something else. You ever see Scooby-Doo? <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. I enjoy sharing my knowledge with people. That's why I got into this job. Feel free to come back anytime. My offer for the research work is still available. 
Thanks, Professor. I'll keep that in mind. I take my leave and head back to the dorm until midnight approaches. It's midnight, and I knock on Kobu's door. Yo, ready? My phone's charged and ready to go. You recording this? Kinky. Yep. No, I'm taking pictures as evidence. King will want to hear this. Who's King? He's the president of my club. Sounds like a pervy guy. Huh? Never mind, let's go. <laughs> the level of telegraphing is incredible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we head off the main campus. Kobu trails behind, following my lead. Like, I, we already knew that it was definitely going to be just people hooking up. <laughs> like, that was just immediately, instantly obvious. But the reveal that it, that the implied reveal that it's like a well-known hookup spot that everyone else will take to mean, oh, you want to meet there, and like, to mean something else is just like, fantastic. <laughs> As we approach the main door, a guard walks by. Crap! Kobu grabs me by the arm and pulls me close. <laughs> hey, Sim. I think this guy might not be a character. He waves to the guard. What are you doing? Shh, I'll handle this. The guard saunters over, with his hands on his belt like a cowboy out of a western flick. Simulda. Kobu, let me guess. You and your friend there left something in the classroom, didn't you? You know it. The guard sighs. You know your papa wouldn't, won't be happy if he hears word that you're breaking campus rules. Which is why he won't know, because Mr. Sim is a nice guy. Is he the son of a politician, or the dean or something? He's probably the son of the dean, yeah. The compliment gives the guard, gets the guard to smile a little. Fine, just don't make too much of a mess. You know Morris has to clean it up the next day. Will do, really appreciate it, Sim. I'll tell Dad to clear one of your tabs. This, oh, tabs. What, the, what does that even mean? At a bar or something? Or... Maybe he's a bartender? Where? I don't know. I don't and, know. Uh, maybe it's just some quid pro quo thing. I just don't... I don't like the implication of the last sentence. <laughs> yeah. The guy that has to clean it up. Oh, no, yeah. There's always a janitor in the bathhouse. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> if you really appreciate it, you'll tell him to clear them all. The guard walks away. You know that guard? He's a regular at my dad's pub. Ran up a mighty tab. Comes in handy when I need him to look away from time to time. Ah. Just... It's <laughs> just like a yep. weird, like borderline blackmail approach. The, uh... So I, yeah, I was, I was definitely primed for the dad to be, like, have a position of power of some kind. But I guess it's just power over this guy specifically. But that doesn't really imply yeah, just reputation convenience. stuff so much. <laughs> that feels kind of illegal. It's not. Now, come on. He's not a police officer. <laughs> we head into the campus building and make a beeline for the bio lab. The room is dark from the outside. Using my phone's flashlight, I peer through a window. There's nothing there. Just a bunch of empty chairs and tables. Yeah, this is this is not what a bio lab would look like. It wouldn't be a. It wouldn't be full of a uh, grid of like lecture tables, uh, desks. Yeah. No, it would be a, like a clean room with some table, like some big yeah. counters on it. There and might stuff. be six large, like black, heavy counters. Those ones you can hide under for earthquakes. Uh, yeah, like, you probably have like a fume hood, microscopes. Huh? There's nobody in there. Perfect. Let's head in. Huh? Come on, let's not waste time. Open it up. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know why, but I hurry on ahead to open the door. We enter the room. Kobo takes out his phone and sets it on the empty lecturer's chair. Meanwhile, I continue walking along the rows of empty chairs. In the back, there's a long line of shelves from one side of the room to the other. I open the shelves. They're filled with test tubes and tools for performing dissections. Nothing around here would be large enough to be mistaken as a person. 
nothing extraordinary either. I feel... Disappointed? Disappointed. I was hoping for a satisfying explanation at the very least. <laughs> Something's about to get satisfied. Instantly. <laughs> I'll give you a satisfying explanation. I turn around. Ah! Kobu is now in his underwear. What are you doing? M me? What are you doing? I thought we came here to fuck! He hisses at me and throws his hands up, so I do the same. <laughs> huh? Hello! Tons of people know the biolab is the place people go to for a fling. What? What do you mean people? What do you mean people know? I didn't. Also, you guys are literally next door neighbors in the same building. This is so much extra work. Yeah. I thought you did. Why weren't we talking about this place the whole time this morning? No, I, I was talking about the supposed monster here. But meet at the biolab at night when no one is around. It's practically an invitation to have sex. Since when? Since always. I blink several times before smacking my head with the palm of my hand. Oh, crap. I finally got it. The monster wasn't a monster. It's just people fucking here. Welcome to the club, bud. It took you an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> it took him a day. <laughs> I just spent some of the time we started recording. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just, I mean, that's, we inflate that, but it took a whole yes, day. He took a whole day. Kobo's pupils rise up to the corner of his eyes. I assume he's processing what I just said. Huh. I can see that happening. Mystery solved then. Ah. <sighs> we stand in silence for a good minute, avoiding each other's gaze. Okay. I guess this is... He moves in closer and pushes his finger against my lips. Look, I realize this has been one big misunderstanding, but I like you. You're cute, and I will kick myself if I don't at least ask. Do you want to bang? No strings attached. You could say no, and I'll act like none of this happened, and we can still be buds. Yes. <laughs> Imagine the riots if I said no. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched this video for over an hour. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. I listened to Toaster's right. anime tangent. <laughs> <laughs> I made you work for this, viewer. His smile radiates upon hearing you accept his offer, and his big hands start to tug my shirt off. Now, see, that's big. That reaches his <laughs> knees. That's big. Compared to Liar, Liar went like halfway down his thigh. This, this reaches this dude's <laughs> knees. This is a big dick. This is what I was talking about. Toast was gonna take out Lyle. Don't... Never compliment Lyle again. <laughs> I never said Lyle was small. I just said this is this is furry big. That's all I'm saying. That literally goes to his knee. <laughs> uh, so I know that there's like uh, there's obviously like there's ma there's male gaze elements. There's like there's the part where you make you make everything like uh, too big by default when you're drawing and all that, uh, and just like fantasy stuff. But also like on some level. Like, there's something that just feels proportional about half of, like, how, like, the default size that people draw furry characters at compared to, like, like as somebody who tried to, has tried to draw even just faces with, like, a pencil on a paper, it's, like, it's sincerely hard to draw anything small ever. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, so, on some level, I always think that that, like, inf that influences the designs on some level. He's Definitely. Just got, he has just got a sine wave on the side. Yeah, he definitely does. That is one... It's got an angry vein, that's for extremely sure. extremely angry. I can't help but notice he smells nice. I run my hands across his broad chest. His fur feels like... like coarse cotton. Mmm. Oh, great. Now I'm gonna have to voice act. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> fur, he's banging. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what I signed up for. You, you kinda knew. The wolf unbuttons my pants and begins to playfully grope my crotch. Ugh. Kobu takes a handful of my cock and squeezes. I return the favor, feeling his firm shaft through my through his underwear. He's not wearing underwear. He wasn't well, even wearing underwear before. Well, the jockstrap <laughs> was underwear, technically, categorically. 
It, it's got a bit ahead of themselves with the sprite. A jockstrap stuff. is lingerie, all right? Underwear Long and lingerie are slightly different. I, I feel like all lingerie is underwear. Sure, but not all underwear is lingerie. Yeah, but underwear is still accurate. Let's have a 10 minute semantics discussion before, without, yep. before we get to the... <laughs> 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 it's called edging. Uh, he growls into my ear as he slides his hand past the waistband and grips my developing erection. Let's get these off. Damn, I'm super hard. The hunky wolf slides my underwear off, my eager cock catching midway before flopping out with a solid thud. Excitedly, I pull down his boxers and stare down at his own thick cock. Bobo has a nice set of balls dangling below his now swollen shaft. I get in closer, brushing my hands along his fuzzy rump as his tail begins to wag. This wolf's got some meat on him. He is thick. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> nice. You're not half bad yourself. I can't help but wrap my paw around his thick shaft, feeling the heat beneath my squeezing fingers. Mmm. My dorm mate lays back on a table and spreads his legs. I take a moment to admire the wonderful view of Kobu presenting his hole to me. Damn. Nice ass. <laughs> Thanks. Why don't you put it to good use? Say no more. Plot twist. Plot twist. Is this a different art style? It is, and yeah. it, we have it, we are furry. I didn't for some reason I thought we were human because everyone else is bigger than us. Oh yeah, but we're just a small. We don't even we actually don't look small either. <laughs> we look very. We, we look, look like a, we're large too. Yeah, we look like a big your character here. <laughs> I cannot. I feel like I recognize this artist, but I also cannot place this artist. Yeah, I don't know. It's bothering me. It's not curse marked, is it? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Stepping between his muscled legs, I let the tip of my cock uh, rest against his pucker. That's the worst word to use. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I have not read an explicit sex scene out loud for a while. <laughs> yeah. This is surreal. All right. You know, it makes me, it, it puts me in that perspective where it's like, oh yeah, you know, maybe our fear and hunger playthrough won't be murdered by YouTube if this is okay. I mean, yeah. I I mean, I did censor every single part of Ad Astra, but I did say <laughs> all of it out loud. <laughs> and didn't yes. censor any of that. So who the fuck knows what the rules are. Uh, I can feel his muscles twitch as I press my tip against his hole. Kogu's tail wags below as I start to sink my shaft into his eager butt. Ah! <laughs> I stop. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> he takes a deep breath, and I can feel his body relax. Yeah, go ahead. With a generous amount of spit, I smear the outside of my cock thoroughly before pushing it back in. Lube would be better, but this is, uh, is too hot to stop. I have to fuck him. <laughs> Now you we know why there's so many screams coming from this lab. Yeah, you can't just go at it without lube. These people have like arms attached to their legs. Like, it would be different if if they were humans, but they have fur. There's so much fur that would you dry up instantly. You think that he would br would have brought some himself since he knew? Yeah, they're gonna slide open a drawer, and there's gonna be like a drawer full of condoms and lube. My cock slides in easier, his muscles already squeezing and convulsing as I gently sink inside of him. The wolf lets out a deep moan as I lean over him, letting my ass swallow the rest letting his ass swallow the rest of my cock. I can feel every twitch of his walls squeezing against my arousal. I can even feel the throbbing of his heart, thumping gently along my tip. Okay, here we go. In one smooth motion, I pull back until just my cock head holds his hole open. Rocking my hips, I pop in and out of his opening, teasing the wolf with what's to come. Him, uh, you. Both yeah. of you. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I work up a decent pace, 
Kobu is moaning deeply with his tongue hanging out of his mouth. I thrust over half my length into his slick hole, feeling him clench down right before I pull back out. I let out a shallow br uh, breath each time I push in, and his hot tunnel squeezes down. It feels amazing. My mm. breath turns to grunts as I push more of myself into him. There's something disturbing about referring to this as a hot tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Looking down at the big wolf spreading his legs for me is a wild sight. We only met yesterday, and now I have him on his back, plowing his ass like fertile soil. <laughs> 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 his growls of pleasure snap me back into the present. Whoop, there goes gravity. Yeah. Whoop, there goes Yes, he, fuck me. He doesn't have to beg. I'm more than happy to oblige. I thrust myself deep into him, railing his juicy hole as if it were mine to keep. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> My balls clamp against his ra clap against his round. <laughs> clap is ruined for me over the last like four years. Yeah, there's it's a completely dirty verb now. You can't use it for anything else. <laughs> My balls clap against his round cheeks each time I bury my entire bone in his needy ass. I watch his cock bounce back and forth, slinging pre all over his crotch and belly. The wolf's eyes are shut as he moans from the rough pounding I'm giving him. I swing back to, I swing back to slower and shorter thrusts that leave him squirming. Ah! Ah! Kobu grunts and moans as his plump ass bounces off my hips. I lean over him, panting as I, cha as I change back to deep, hard thrusts. I whisper into his ear. Gotcha. For someone, <laughs> <laughs> for someone as, uh, for someone as seemingly godly at sex as this main character is, he sure fucking doesn't understand any social cues at all. He's never heard of <laughs> Does it. Does not understand. He's literally. This is his first time, and he's just a. He's a sex god, immediately wooing everyone. Like this is. It's like the this joke pushing, where, like, Kiryu, Kazuma Kiryu is, like, the most charming, interesting, stoic, strong man, soft boy ever, and, and everyone's into him, and he has no idea what sex is. Yes. <laughs> like he just has never heard of it. Has no idea what's happening. <laughs> I lean over... Uh, he tosses his head back and whimpers as I position my cock into his hole with reckless abandon. Position with reckless abandon. Position just doesn't invite... Inv no, this is motion. like weird thes thesaurus writing. Uh, I'm close. It's a struggle. You just sit there writing and you're like, shit, I need new words now. Me too. I keep working the big wolf's ass, slamming my balls against his fuzzy rump. The table shakes and rattles as I, as I feel my orgasm approaching. And now his face has disappeared from what was presumably all that I was showing. <laughs> until now, I'm like, I'm to... up until now, I'm like, I'm definitely only showing his face. That's all that we're seeing. Yeah. But now the screen is black. <laughs> Going to blow. Ah! I watch his thick pole start to sling ropes of wolf seed all over our bellies. <laughs> That's definitely not where it's going. His no. ass squeezes down hard involuntarily work, working to milk out my own orgasm. Unable to hold back any longer, I dig my hands tight against Kobu's hips, ram my shaft in as, as deep as it can go, and start to unload into the beefy wolf. Fuck. I can feel the hot rush burning through my loins as it exits into Kobu's quivering hole. Kobu's ass remains clenched tight, milking my throbbing cock for every last drop. We're both panting hard, visible sweat hanging from our fur. Our muzzles inches from each other. Kobu's eyes flutter as he lays there in the afterglow of our investigation. I can't help but notice how cute he looks sprawled out on the biolab table with my cock still dripping inside of him. Jesus. It's a good look for you, <laughs> Spear. It's so, so... <laughs> it's just such... Like, there's... It's making me chuckle at like just how th this jumps from like 
corny porn comic pretext to just straight up sex immediately. Yeah. We're not, we're, we have had one more scenes than we had in an hour and a half of Liar by this <laughs> point. And, and we've already seen, like, we've already seen a full blown sex scene. That's pretty remarkable. Also, I think it's just a reason of, it's honestly like on some level reasonably realistic for gay college students. <laughs> Oh, yeah, definitely a little bit. I mean, it's not, I don't know if it's quite this easy on a college campus, but, you know. Not like statistically, but just that it can be. This is closer to like a grinder hookup, I think. Yeah. He looks back at me. I can feel his hot breath wash across my nose. I slowly lean in, I slowly lean in closer. Our lips almost meet, but Kobu turns away at the very last moment. It's bad for him. You shouldn't do that. No. <laughs> D did you hear something? Okay, that's a lot of motion. That's gonna cause problems for me. <laughs> you're just, you're you're it's just gonna giant... black out the bottom third yes. of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> he's moving and spinning, and he's still naked. <laughs> uh, just I just I just realized the nightmare I've made for myself by picking the character that runs around. <laughs> he leans up. Looking around the bio lab, watch the fucking monster be real. What? Where? I panic and scramble to get my pants back on. Looking around the lab, I don't see anyone else outside the door or in the hallway. What if the newspaper binding club is they send people in here to bang, and then the binding to the newspaper club is just the blackmail that King and Knox Mayor get on the students <laughs> who bang in this? That's my guess. Looks like you're in a bind. Exactly. I take, I take a peek outside the window and see a, a couple jogging away from the building. By the time I look back over at Kobu, he's got his clothes back on. Uh. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> he's holding it in. That's, uh. <laughs> A lot of it wasn't in. That's the problem. Like this is a, yeah. He's a squelchy mess right now. I don't. Mm. Reason five hundred. I'm like, are you sure you don't want to do this in a place that has showers? <laughs> like, are, <laughs> why would you hook up here? I don't know. Our geology department had showers. Maybe they have showers here. They're I gonna walk under the emergency like eye wash station and just pull. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Fucking chemical, chemical poisoning eyewash station just used for like, just for yep. before and after care. The, uh, uh, I remember only discovering that we had showers because we had, uh, we had one classmate that would bike all the way to campus from miles away every day, take a shower on campus, a change, and then do, and then take his classes in the geology department and so on. <laughs> My heart is racing. My legs and back burn from the impromptu workout. Come on. Let's get out here. Let's get out of here before we become the the new biolab monster. Already I am. Kobo looks like he wants to say something, but instead just nods. Oh no, a misconnection. We'll never see each other again as next door neighbors. <laughs> we both make a quiet exit from the lab, locking up after ourselves. No, com no comment whatsoever on cleaning up the mess, so sorry, that guy. <laughs> he walks by my side, our hands grazing one another. I can't believe I did that. How do you just have sex with someone you've met for less than a day? You, you just did, it's easy. All those verbs that you did in that order, you just do those. <laughs> <laughs> I've had sex with people I've known less. That's not possible. That's literally possible. You just need Definitely a hole in the wall. <laughs> it is. Haven't you heard of dating apps? Plus, I've sucked a cock or two after a few beers. Didn't even have to see who was in the other stall. I called it. Wow. Little word of advice. The guys you meet in Kibbleton University are all up for getting laid. That's one of the reasons why people sign up for this place. Metatextual. That's one of the, that's the reason you downloaded this visual novel. What? I didn't know that. Well, you've taken the red pill, Kobu. No going back now. Man, I wonder if the faculty knows about it. 
redefining the context of a red pill in this in this situation. <laughs> it's it's every time red pill comes up, it's such whiplash because it's a wildly different context. Like I guess yep. technically, yeah, it's this is the original meaning without any of the other baggage of red pill. Pill is just that you gain an insight that you can never unknow and that recontextualizes your surroundings. Yes, but it's so poisoned <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Know about it? They get involved too. Don't expect it to work to get a boost in your CGPA. Kobu whistles a jaunty tune for the rest of the walk. Hey, what club did you say you were in? The News Binding Club. Why? Oh, nothing. Just asking. He continues his whistle as we both head back to our dorm. I awaken with a very intrusive boner. <laughs> <laughs> this boner does not respect social boundaries. <laughs> Better take care of this. Oh. Okay. Aggressive. I just... <laughs> It's, on some level, it almost seems disrespectful to not be thinking about yep. Kobu at this point. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh man, moving on immediately. I find myself thinking about Kobu. He's cute, like in a stupid, goofy kind of way. Especially since seeing him in the bio lab. His thick chest, the way his nipples poke out from the sides of his shirt. Damn, I'm getting hard. No, you were. You can't... No. <laughs> yeah. The chronology of this writing is a little weird. It makes it seem like they wrote scenes separately and then just kind of put them together. Them up. Yeah. Yeah. To top it off, that goofy wolf is right next door. I think this is the like ver first launch version of this. I think I saw it on Twitter. Gotcha. I, I think they literally just, this is the first version ever of this, which is it's a lot of assets already. I think it is the same sprite artist as the last one. And I really, I actually really like how they draw characters. That's actually pretty convenient. Oh wait, to top it off, that goofy wolf is right next door. That's actually pretty convenient. We can slip into each other's rooms from time to time. My, my cock quickly bounces to life from the thought. This is the third time it's woken up. <laughs> the big <laughs> stupid wolf. But he's still a nice guy. With an even nicer body. His fuzzy rump and that bulge. I feel my meat throbbing between my legs. As I stretch out my legs, my underwear slides off easily. Now free from its fabric prison, my cock stands at full mast. Giving it the attention it deserves, I get to stroking. My mind wanders up and down the wolf's body. Those thick legs, that fluffy tail, his broad chest. I start to stroke faster. My other paw cups my balls, groping them. Rolling my nuts around causes pre to leak out of the tip of my throbbing pole. I curl my toes as I feel the pleasure building within me. Wild thoughts of Kobu taking turns riding me and I riding him drive my paw to move faster. I just want to bury my face in his fluffy chest and inhale his heavy scent. Shivers ripple along my body as I feel the burning need for release continue to build. I hope we can hang out again soon. And maybe more. And maybe more than hanging out. One day, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm already getting close. I kick off the sheets and spread myself out on bed. The pillow beside me muffles my moans while I continue to masturbate. More thoughts of that goofy dorm mate sharing my bed floods into my head. I can feel it coming, my balls tensing up in preparation to unload. Growling, my cock erupts. Ro rope after rope of a hot wolf cream splatters against my belly first. So now we know we're a wolf. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I get four or five good shots before he jets, before the jets turn into a, a last dribble. Closing my eyes, I lay in the afterglow of my own personal mess for a few minutes. The trying cum eventually feels cold, setting me off on a quest to find something to clean up with. Uh, you really gotta have that ready. 
Now, now you just have a problem you've made for yourself, and you don't even have your own bathroom. Ah! <laughs> ah! Now that's done. Time to start the day. <laughs> My Sunday is free for me to go out. Better get cracking on that article. King would be King would be interested in seeing it. But for that, you're gonna have to download the game yourself if you're 18 or older, which you should have been before watching all this, which I said at the beginning. Yep. This Here, here's hoping. <laughs> Here, yeah. This is uh this was a game that we played. I don't know. Um, this one's this, just, this, this might not be fun. up for any literary awards, but it was fun. No, yeah. yeah th this one's just being fun. In fact, it seems like it seems like the 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 more smutty spinoff, uh, almost like vent game to do in parallel when he's writing the like plot game with plot. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think yeah. Because that, that game never got adult adult, and it uh, well, it does have characters that you would think might be boyfriends, and it does recommend eighteen plus. I think it says that it's just suggestive, and that's it. So this is like, yeah, <laughs> there are two wolves, uh, literally in this case, there are two wolves in the bio lab. Uh, I gotta double check what the sprite artist is. I don't remember if I checked last time or not, but I, I like their character designs. It's fun. But anyway, guys, yeah. see you later. Bye bye. Bye.